finally time to play that Class AAA Region 5 championship game. Alice Yerner, we've had a weather eye out for thunderstorms tonight. Yeah, George, there were watches out in effect to our west this evening. They have expired. They have not been issued further east into our area, but we can still expect some thunderstorms, a few of them possibly strong overnight tonight. Tonight's weather is being brought to you by New River Foodland at Heiko, East Oak Hill, Beckley, Princeton, and Raynell. Even outside of the thunderstorms, it was a very windy afternoon and evening, and you just don't get that kind of wind unless there's something big going on. We had gusts higher than 40 miles an hour. The thing that's going on is a deep area of low pressure moving from the lower Mississippi Valley toward the Great Lakes. In the counterclockwise flow around that, we had southerly winds today bringing up all the warm air and the increasing humidity that's leading to the chance of thunderstorms. They moved across the southern states today and another line popped up this afternoon and evening. This line stretching through Kentucky and Tennessee, although narrow, was very intense and the lightning detection network was picking up quite a bit of lightning from western Ohio through eastern Kentucky down into northern Georgia at mid-evening. These thunderstorms are moving to the east and are now entering western West Virginia and will be moving into the Pineville and Welch areas by around midnight and the Oak Hill and Beckley areas shortly after midnight, probably by about 1230. Earlier today, there was quite a bit of severe weather all the way from Michigan down to Florida, but the thunderstorms are not quite as intense right now. So although we could see some hail and some gusty winds, there's not a great chance of severe weather any longer now that we are well into the nighttime hours and the temperatures have cooled off a little bit, especially around here because some of us already saw some rain showers to cool us off during the evening hours. The weather map shows the low pressure area centered over Michigan with a warm front extending northeast through New England. A cold front trails south from the low all the way down to Florida. It's just ahead of that cold front where the strongest thunderstorms are occurring this evening. It is a strong cold front too with temperatures ahead of it in the 70s today, but behind this system, it's even snowing in Wisconsin. They picked up six inches in central Wisconsin up into northern Michigan today, and temperatures out there are in the 30s this evening, 30s all the way down to St. Louis. Meanwhile, east of the front, it's still in the 60s and 70s, including our area with uh, quite a few 60s on the map, even in the 70s yet at Charleston and Madison as of last hour. The cool spot was in Marlinton at 60, as well as Tazewell, Virginia, and in Beckley at the Weather Service. Skies at the Weather Service were cloudy with a dew point of 56, relative humidity 87%. Southeast winds at 13 miles an hour, the barometer 29.71 inches and steady. The low today was at 59, the high reached 70, and not quite as warm as we thought it might get. The record of 77 from 1976 still stands. The record lowest, 27 from 1971. Averages are at 41 and 62. Tomorrow evening, this cold front will be off to our east, pushing off the east coast, still moving through New England, but the thunderstorms will be over with after tomorrow morning. But a backlash area of showers will move in behind this storm for our area tomorrow evening. Even snow on the western edge all the way down to western Kentucky. By Saturday evening, we may even be looking at some flurries around here at the tail end of the storm before it leaves the area. Possibly one last blast from winter this spring. We'll be back and take a closer look at our forecast after this. Overnight, skies becoming cloudy once the showers and thunderstorms arrive and uh, staying cloudy. Those showers and thunderstorms will develop in the area from the west. South winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour and some higher gusts, especially in the thunderstorms. Some storms may also contain some hail overnight. Lows will be 54 to 60. Tomorrow, cloudy with a chance of showers. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour and highs 57 to 63. Tomorrow night, showers are likely again. It may mix with some snow at high elevations. Lows of 35 to 40. Then on Saturday, cloudy with a chance of rain or maybe snow showers in the mountains with highs of just 40 to 48. More typical of lows for this time of year. The extended forecast calls for a chance of a shower yet on Sunday before fair weather returns Monday. Our next chance of showers and thunderstorms will be on Tuesday. Tuesday then. Temperatures will be in the 30s for lows, 50s for highs Sunday and Monday, rising to 40s for lows with a high near 70 by Tuesday. Tonight's weather was brought to you by New River Foodland at Heiko, East Oak Hill, Beckley, Princeton, and Reno. All right. Thanks, Al. Ted Everett.